Hey guys, what's going on? Spark Time Gaming here, bringing another video. Today, as the title suggests, I'm going to be doing how to um, install the Superheroes mod. Just to let you know, it does work with most mods, but this is specific to this mod because a classmate, <laughs> Scott, asked me if I could do the video because he couldn't find any video that would actually work and allow him to do it. So here I am showing you how to install it. First off, I just want to let you guys know, I'm so sorry for not posting a video in about a month. I had school and new teachers to meet and homework and I never really found time to do it as much as I wanted to. So I'm really sorry about that, but I'm so glad to be back here recording a video for you guys. So let me just start off by going into a browser. I personally prefer to use Google Chrome. It's up to you, whatever you want to use. You want to go to Minecraft.net and if you haven't purchased Minecraft, it is $26.95 US dollars and if you already have it but you don't have the um, shortcut you want to log in and you want to just download minecraft.exe so after you've done that you want to go to minecraft forge which is files.minecraftforge.net all links will be in the description so don't worry about that you can just go down there and click there so what you want to do is go to down here and press for legacy builds, please click here, you want to click that, and then you want to go down to here, and you want to press um, installer for Minecraft 1.6.4, you just click that, and it'll bring you to add file, um, and let me just reload because sometimes it doesn't work, if it doesn't work you just reload, and just wait the 4 set, 5 seconds, just don't click anything here, and press skip add. Once you've done that, you just press keep and you can exit out of that. So now it's just going to install Minecraft Forge. It doesn't take long at all, like only 10 seconds, depending on your internet connection. And once that's installed, I like to just drag it onto my desktop because it's a lot easier to access like that. So right here, it is on my desktop. And I'm going to come back here so you can just exit out of the downloads. And right here is the Minecraft Forum page for the Superheroes Unlimited mod by Taiho, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but that's who's from, credit him. Um, this is the link, the link will again be in the description, so you can just click down there. And what you want to do is just scroll down here, and go all the way down to previous versions, click the show. You can just click from Minecraft 1.6.2, even though you did install Minecraft um, Forge 1.6.4, It'll still work, so just click that right there, and it'll bring you to another Add Five page. And you just wait the five seconds. Don't click the Add. You don't know what it's going to take you to. Just skip the Add right when it says you don't have to. Okay. So now that it's going here, you just want it, when it goes to Media Fire, just click Superheroes Limited Mod V2.3.2 and click Download. The download should start, and you can just exit out of these things. I like to exit out just in case, you know, there's maybe something that's going to pop up. I don't know what, virus, anything. Just don't risk it. You never know what these days internet can do. So what you want to do is just wait for this finished loading. It doesn't take long at all, but I'm just going to skip until it's ready. Okay, it's ready. It only took 10 seconds, but I can spare 10 seconds if you're like. So now you're just going to want to drag it down to here, and you can put it wherever you want. It doesn't even have to be on the desktop, but that's just up to you. I just personally like having that. As you can see, I have already installed them, so I'm just going to drag these to the recycle bin. Don't drag yours to the recycle bin, because that you do not want to do. I already have it, so I'm just going to show right here. You just want to double click. Well, first you want to go into Minecraft. Just let that run and once it runs you want to go into your profile and change the version to 1.6.4 it has to be 1.6.4 or else forge won't work but you might notice i already have forge but just to demonstrate go into your profile go over here and then when you're on use latest version or whatever version you're on you can just scroll down to release 1.6.4 and you just click that, save profile, you press play, and then once it's ready, you just exit out. Don't exit out here, exit out after it's already loaded and on your, you're on the Minecraft home screen. 
So now that that's done, you can just leave that like that. You have, um, you're ready for that. Now you just want to double click Minecraft Forge Installer and um, keep it on Install Client and just press OK. You can leave it on update um, Data Roaming. That's fine. I already have Forge installed, but you just press OK and then um, it's good. So once you're done with that, you want to go back into your Minecraft launcher and once it loads, um, verify that Forge is downloaded there. It should be downloaded. If it's not, you want to try downloading Forge again because that's what it should be. Once you go to Profile, it's very important. You have to click Forge Profile or else it's not going to work. Press Play and just wait for it to load like last time. Once it finishes loading, you want to press X, but just to save your time, I'm going to pause and wait till it's loading. Okay, it's ready, and as you can see, it's Minecraft Ford 9.11.1.953. Three mods loaded, three mods active. If you want to verify this, just go into the mods tab, and it will show Minecraft Coder Pack Forge Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. That is completely normal. Don't freak out when it's there. That's what you need to install the actual mod, because Minecraft Forge is able to run it. So you can just quit the game and go back into your superhero right here. You want to hit the Windows Start button and just type in in the search programs and files. You can also go to Run. If you search up Run, you can do Run, but it doesn't matter whatever you do. You can do percent af data percent, and you just hit Enter. And you want to click the first folder that pops up, which is your dot Minecraft folder. You double click that, and then you go down to where it says Mods. You double click that. Now, there shouldn't be anything in there unless you already have mods installed. If you have something in there that's a mod you installed, then that's fine. But if you haven't installed any mods, there shouldn't be anything in there. What you want to do is just take this. I'm just going to move this down. Grab your um, Superheroes Unlimited and just drag it in and move to mods. Once you've mo moved it to mods, you can just exit out and completely find them. So, now that it's in there, you just want to, once again, and this will be the last time you need to do it, run Minecraft. I know it's taking a while, but it's worth it for whatever mod you want to do. So, right when it's done, it might take a little longer, depending on um, how fast your computer is, your internet connection, stuff like that. But, um, you just press play and make sure you are on Forge, you cannot be on your regular profile, or else it won't work. So, press play, and it should load. It shouldn't take too long, but it might take a little longer because it's installing everything it needs. So, as you can see, it's just loading up, and it's ready. So, once you have that done, instead of saying three mods active, it should say four mods active, because you have that other mod. So, now that we have Minecraft open and ready, once you go back into Minecraft, Hold on. Okay, so it will load up, and once it's ready, right here, as I said before, it'll have four mods active, four mods loaded, and when you go into mods, just verify that it says mod unlimited, and it says superheroes unlimited mod, and it also has all your forge mods loaded in. So now that that's there, you can now go into single player and just go into wherever you're going. I created superhero mod test. Whatever you want to do if you want to play survival, because you can play this mod in survival. So once you get in, let me just maximize the screen for you to see better. It you'll be in your world. I don't know what's wrong. Okay. Okay, let's just let Minecraft load for a bit. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in, and as you see, you'll see these strange men in orange jumpsuits. Uh, you know that there are prisoners that come in this game and it's pretty cool but that's up to you to decide there's no way to disable that but that's um, just prisoners come I'm pretty sure they're friendly but I'm not I don't know for a fact okay so now you can go into wherever you have your um, inventory on I have it in E and you'll see this new bar above and it says one out of two with two arrows on the side. 
you want to click the arrow and it'll bring you to this page which is different it has DC heroes Marvel heroes superheroes unlimited weapons bat gadgets Iron Man suits willpower items superheroes unlimited tools um, superheroes unlimited blocks and superheroes unlimited materials so now that you have that both fans of DC and Marvel will be able to test out their new gear and everything like that. They have Batgirl, Batman, Wonder Woman, Iron Man, like Super um, Superman, like everyone's favorite superheroes. You can just pop that on and you'll see that you get um, a boost with it and it does uh, make you look like that superhero. So there are certain um, um, things you get with each superhero. For example, Superman obviously able to fly for a certain duration of time by just holding space. It's sort of like a large jump. It's not completely fly, but you have super speed. So I'll also try a Marvel hero for all Marvel fans out there. I'm going to try um, Iron Man because this suit is really special. So when you have Iron Man on, you have this on your screen, and it's sort of like you being in the actual suit, like Tony Stark is in, and it just makes for a more fun experience. But when, of course, you press F5, you won't have it. You'll be able to see your Iron Man screen. So now this one is able to fly for a longer duration of time than Superman, um, and you can just move around. It's not as fast, but you can um, pretty much fly. So that's pretty much it for the mod. I hope it worked for you as it worked for me and if it did just give a thumbs up in the um, down below and that will really help out and show that you're loving this um, this video and it will really help and maybe I'll do review on this mod and how to install other mods and reviews on those. So I hope you had a great day today and you were able to install this mod as I was and as easily as I was. So just have a great day. Bye.